Okay, so this is then a chemistry required practical, which is called making salts. Now, what you're going to be doing in this is you're going to investigate how to make a salt and preparing a pure dry sample of copper sulfate crystals. Now, the equipment. So what I've done at the bottom is I've done three sets of equipment that you're then going to be potentially using. The equipment you're going to need is dilute sulfuric acid, copper 2 oxide powder that is black, a spatula, glass rod, measuring cylinder, beaker, filter funnel and paper, a small conical flask, evaporating basin and a crystallising dish. All the equipment that I've just talked about is in this bottom section here. Now, before I move on, right, what you've got to also do is you've got to know what a salt is. Everybody always thinks salt is sodium chloride common table salt. But what it actually is, it's something, it's a chemical compound consisting of an ionic. So it's an ionic compound that has a positive charged cation meeting up with a negatively charged anion. And what you do is when you combine those two together, you then create a salt. Now the method, measure 40 centimetre cubed of sulfuric acid and put it into a 100 centimetre cubed beaker of water, uh, into a beaker. Right, so there, what you've got is you've got your beaker and you've got your sulfuric acid in it. Heat it gently. Now, obviously, you've got to be very careful because hot acid is going to have more serious side effects. Right, if you get it on your hands, then you could then have a problem. So you've got to work very, very sensibly. Use the spatula to add a small amount of copper 2 oxide. So your black copper 2 oxide goes in there. And what it does is it reacts. Here, you've then got to keep on adding the copper 2 oxide and some of it remains after stirring. So you put it in, stir it, and eventually what you'll do is you'll see some black copper 2 oxide staying at the bottom, even after you've stirred it. That means the copper 2 oxide is then in excess. You've got more copper 2 oxide, right, or all the sulfuric has reacted. Then, when you've done that, what you do is you filter it, right, you put your copper 2 oxide in your liquid, which is probably a lovely blue colour, right, into there, and the excess copper 2 oxide stays in the filter paper. And your filtrate at the bottom is your copper sulphate, which is a beautiful blue colour. Okay, so what you do on this one then is you pour the filtrate from the conical flask into the evaporating basin, which is this here, and what you do then is you can then have a lovely blue. Then, when you start to see crystals starting to form, stop heating it, take it off, and then eventually what you should do is you should see lovely blue copper sulfate crystals appearing. Now, that is then making a salt, right? You've just got to remember, it's pretty much a positive and a negative that join together to make the salt itself. All right, the method, there's a lot of description within it and a lot of equipment that's used. Um, and probably the description of using the equipment is possibly the most important thing.